Hi guys, how are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Very well indeed. I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another brand battle. Now this one, I know you're gonna enjoy. It's two big powerhouses of hair product creation. We have got By Valane up against Kevin Murphy. Now these are two brands that have not yet featured in my brand battles, but you guys have been asking for them in the comments, so I thought, it's time, let's do it. So guys, I'm gonna go through my usual brand battle factors. I'm gonna go through what the products actually are, the ingredients, the packaging, the smell, the consistency, the ease of application, the styling, the finish, the price, and then finally guys, the verdict, and who will reign supreme. Um, guys, before I get going, if you're new to my channel, you're not yet pressed subscribe, press it. Press it right now. Press it right now. I'm gonna be doing these brand battles for a bit longer. I am gonna be moving into style, some more grooming products, and obviously, guys, more of the hair. Now, the two brands of products we've got, firstly, Kevin Murphy's Night Rider, by a guy called Kevin Murphy, who is Australian, a hairdresser, session stylist, and then created his own products. The second one is by the Lane by Slick Car TV, uh, the massive YouTube channel by the two guys, identical twins, Rasmus and Emil, and they've created their own products. And um, I didn't, I, well, I knew of these products, but I hadn't used them until they sent me a massive bumper box, and I'm slowly working my way through all of them. Now guys, looking at ingredients and the products as a whole, the Bivalene one says it's a hair wax, versus the Kevin Murphy one, which says it's a texture paste. Now really, these are quite transient terms these days in hair products, but I think they're directly comparable for this brand battle. Um, in terms of the actual ingredients, they're both water-based, so water's at the top of the ingredients list, but they do both contain wax. So I thought, perfect time to put them up against each other. Talking aesthetics and looking purely at packaging, the By Valane one is in their standard black tubs with the text across it. This one is in a gorgeous gold. Um, I really do like their packaging. I think it's really simplistic. I think it's quite mature and it sits well against other products. Now the Kevin Murphy one, they always have it in these sort of rectangular boxes and they open more like a chest. The point for packaging, purely because I think it's got a little bit more to it. I like the letter embossed into it. So the point for packaging goes to Kevin Murphy. Now these products actually smell quite similar. You've got this sort of citrusy scent, but you can also smell the wax coming through. Guys, I'm not a massive fan of the smell of the By Valane one, just because I think it smells slightly more chemically in it, versus the Kevin Murphy one, which again has that citrusy, waxy scent, but it's just slightly more pure in the way that it smells. So the point for smell goes to Kevin Murphy. Now, although these products look very similar, you start to see the differences when we look at consistency. Now, the By Valane one is nice and soft. It's quite a creamy wax. You can get it out very easily and start to warm it up versus the Kevin Murphy one, which is a lot harder to the touch. It's a lot harder to get out of that tub and into your hands and warm it up. So the point for me, just purely because it's easier to use, goes to By Valane. I've actually been quite surprised in applying these products. The one that I thought would have been better than the other actually isn't. Now the Kevin Murphy one is really, although very hard, once you get it warmed up, it goes through the hair very, very easily. Also, it retains a lot of that moisture so it doesn't dry out. Versus the By Valane one, which actually, although easy to get into the hands and start to warm up, it becomes quite sticky and it starts to dry out. So you've got to use it very quickly when applying. So the point for ease of application goes to Kevin Murphy. I've really loved using both these products and I think they actually style very well. Now I should say that they actually both give great volume even before using a hair dryer and actually without using any sort of prep treatment, salt spray, thickening tonics, they both work like a dream. But actually, out of both of them, this is when it starts to get very hard. I'm starting to nitpick. There's one which gives just slightly better volume for that styling. So the point goes to By the Lane. Both products have been totally accurate on their packaging and what they say they do. They both lock in throughout the day, even without a hairspray, and they stay right there. Um, I've really got to look at the little things in this to give one of them a point. And there's one which plumps the hair slightly more, makes it look slightly thicker and fuller, and just locks it into position, just that tiny bit extra. So the point for finish goes to By the Lane. The price for the product obviously depends where you're living, how many you're gonna buy, the portion of your packaging costs, the currency you're buying in, but looking at it very sort of in a basic way, 
you've got the Buy the Lane one, which really is only available on their shop for the UK at £24.61 per 100 mils because it's a £16 product. The postage and packaging is £4, so it's £20. If you're in the US, then it's $20 for the product. It's $6 shipping, which is $26. And then looking at Kevin Murphy, it is 110 grams. Find it on Amazon for £21.42, which is £19.47 per 100 mils. If you're in the US, then I found it on Amazon for the best price. Um, that was $33.99. So that works out at $30.99 per 100 mils. So guys, really, because it is actually better value for money in terms of the size and the cost per mils, the point goes to Kevin Murphy. Okay, verdict. The verdict is in. We've got four points for Kevin Murphy versus the three points for By the Lane. Guys, this one, as I've said throughout this, is so difficult because I really do like both these products. I will continue to use them. I will keep them. I really like the finish. It works well with my hair. They've both got this really great gritty texture. They've got a good hold. They're actually great for the volume. So if you've got hair like me, you guys are going to go wild for these. So who wins based on points? Kevin Murphy. Well done, Kevin. But really in this whole brand battle, it comes down to personal choice. And really, where you live, how cheap or how expensive it is to get to you, you might walk past a salon and pick one of them up, and also which brand you want to support. And it, that's really it in a nutshell. Um, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Give me some more brand battle suggestions if you want to see. I am going to be moving more into some style stuff or some grooming products. Great moisturizers that I'm going to brattle against it. Brattle? Brattle brand battle against each other. Um, if you are new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then press it. You know you want to. It's up there. Give it a click. Also, if you want to see my other brattle videos, then I have linked those brand battle videos down there. But guys, I'm going to see you in my next new video, which will be Thursday. Bye-bye.